Good morning, guys. So it is Thursday, I think. Um, so today I was gonna do my bedroom and bathroom, which I might wait until a little bit later. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the toys in the living room because that stuff is a hot mess. Um, I need to sew Hannah's dress. Ooh, she got this for her birthday. Probably be easier if I just, you know, showed it like this. It needs to be washed like some kind of bad. But this came off last night and she wears this dress all the time. She got it on Amazon. Oh, we, my mom ordered it on Amazon. I put it in her wish list and it is actually like so pretty. Like it's flowy and twirly. I'll try to link it, but you can see how dirty it is. I'm gonna put it in one of those little wash bags and wash it. But um, she wears this all the time. So I'm gonna try to link this if you have a daughter or someone that would love dress up dresses. And it wasn't that expensive either. Like it was less than $20, I'm pretty sure. Um, but she loves that. So I need to fix that. Ooh. I just gotta do like my normal stuff. Click, click, pick up. Um, where my lipstick? I don't know where you put it. Pick up just trash and load the dishwasher, which I was gonna do that last, well I did load the dishwasher last night, which I'm very proud of myself for. Um, I've done it like two or three nights in a row, but I didn't wanna start it because it wasn't full. So after lunch, I will start it. Um, and then Noah has a doctor's appointment at- Today? Yeah, at two. And then can I have a doctor's appointment? Your appointment's next week. What's next week? In seven days, seven sleeps. Anyway, so Noah's large appointment's at 2.15. It was at 9 this morning, and then they called and asked if I could change it to 1, so I changed it to 1, and then she turned around and called me right back and was like, can we change it to 2.15? So, 2.15 it is. So, we're gonna go in and clean the toys and organize, and we're well, not organized, but we're just gonna get rid of any broken ones and kind of fix them. Look at you, you're a little bit much. <laughs> Um, I've been wearing this little tank top that my brother's ex-girlfriend gave me. Hannah uses this as a dress, but it's nice and flowy, but you can see my horrid tan lines from the beach. But it's really comfy. It's a little big, uh, but it's just kind of nice because it's comfy for these hot days. It's actually not as hot as it was last week. Last week it was like high 90s, like hundreds and stuff. Um, this week it's actually like high 80s, which feels like fall. It feels amazing. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go in there and get started. I have to get lunch ready in probably an hour. And then I take Matt back to work. And then we get ready to go to the doctor. And then we'll make dinner. We're having chicken Alfredo. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you do when you are going through toys like this... Okay, so you just acknowledge that it's gonna be a nightmare. It's not gonna be fun. You're gonna, halfway through, you're gonna wish you did not start this project, but at the end, you'll be glad you started this project. Okay, so. <sighs> this is the things that I get mad at myself for because I didn't like control this to begin with. Like every time they bring toys in here and I pick up, I just toss everything over here. And then I use this. <laughs> to hide it but now it's pushing this out and I cannot push it back there anymore so oh yeah and there's a bag full of toys here yep so uh, I guess now I need to put it all here so I'm dragging my feet I don't want to do this so my tip I have restarted Grey's Anatomy like a couple weeks ago and uh, put on a good show that you can have playing that you don't really necessarily need to watch all the, you know, like pay attention to. And just, you know, be miserable. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pull everything out.
taking a short break. <laughs> I was really slack in motivation for that one. Do not want to do that. So I picked up this little salmon and shrimp. I got two of them at the store. They were on sale for five something each. So I'm gonna sneeze it up, season it up, and put it in the air fryer. And then I've got Matthew two sandwiches going and the little sandwich brush thing, which I love this thing. I always forget about it, but it's good. And I gotta put some spaghettios. I think that's what Hannah wants in the um, microwave. So it's lunch time. All right, so here's my lunch. A little piece of salmon, some shrimp, and I cut up some cauliflower and put it in there. Here is Matthew's ham and cheese and Mommy, roast beef and provolone. I don't know, but hold on, let me find it. Right here, next to the plate. And Hannah's spaghetti meatballs. So we're gonna sit down while Matthew has his lunch break for the next hour, and then we will take him back to work. And then we have a little bit of time before Noah's doctor's appointment. And I got married. Oh, you did? Don't tell daddy, okay? Why? Because he might not like that. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna load the dishwasher and start it. Lunch is done. These are piles that I know what they are. It doesn't look like it, but there's a little bit of organization going on. But I'm going to load the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen. So that is all clean for dinner tonight. So I don't have to worry about anything else. We just dropped Matt off. So we're leaving in an hour. It's almost 12.30. I'm gonna stop by Walmart and see about any of the planners that they have. I thought I saw a post saying that there was happy planners there. Okay, I don't know oh, if I can do this. Sorry, where's Noah? I'm here. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm Hannah, you got your Kindle? Anyway, so I saw a post saying that happy planners were at Walmart, I think. I know that they're at Joann's and Michael's and stuff, but in the opposite direction of those places. So, we're gonna stop by Walmart, I gotta get a couple things, and then we're gonna go to the doctor. Well, we got all the way to Noah's appointment, and it was at a different location. So I'm really frustrated. So, they called me yesterday, his appointment was for nine this morning. So they called me yesterday and said that the doctor had like a court date for one of her clients if that's the right word, I don't know. Um, and asked if we could come at oh, one. And I said, down. yes, we can come at one, so that was fine. And then she called back and said, okay, she can't do one, she can do 2.15. I said, that's fine. So I schedule it to where I take Matt to work for lunch and take him come home, go out there, all that kind of stuff. That is my drink, thank you. Um, get there, check him in, and then she says, He's for, he has an appointment at the other office. Oh, man. They never said that they had, it had to be a different office yesterday on the phone, which is annoying. Because this is for his like ADHD medication, and so he has to go in every Mommy, three months and get weighed you, and all that stuff. Can you blow up the pool so we can go out in the pool? In a, in a little bit, okay. Just okay. wait. Um, so, Mom, what? what was I saying? <laughs> she like sidetracks me. So we had to make the appointment for September because I just filled his prescription yesterday. So he won't actually need it and he only takes it during the school week. Um, and you have to have paper prescriptions, they can't call it in. Um, so we drove all the way there. She was like, um, did you want it for this location? I'm like, yeah, all of our appointments are at this location. This location is like 10, 15 minutes from our house. The other one is like, 30 plus minutes from our house. It's not convenient at all. So, 
so frustrating. So we went to Walmart. I got me, which I saw the planners. They had one planner. I need some oil and I needed coconut oil because I was at, oh, it's already starting to melt. Um, and then they got them some gum and they had these shoes on sale for $3 each. So I'm not a shoe person, but I think these are kind of cute to have just to like with some capris and a cute little shirt. And then the same with these for $3. I mean, I think these would be really cute with fall. Yeah, they're originally $10 and I got them for $3. So they're pretty cute. These are a little big, but I was fine with that. I mean, it's cute. <laughs> so I got me some new shoes on this trip. So now I'm gonna go finish oh, this horrid project and listen to my kids scream. So I'm gonna finish this, get this done, get the living vacuumed and put back together. start dinner so this might be a weird angle for a little bit. Right. I've got my pot heating up and I'm going to, I have two pieces of chicken and I always cut the chicken in half because the pieces are always super large. So. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to season them, salt and pepper, garlic, thyme, whatever, you know, stuff like that. Put oil in the pan, fry them on both sides, and then I'm gonna make my Alfredo sauce. That was dad. <laughs> no, baby, that's for outside. And well, Matt has been cleaning out this garage. That is all from the garage, minus the like little toy on top. It's finally not 100 degrees outside. Hannah, get away from the car. Back away. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I do for my Alfredo. So I've cooked the chicken on both sides and then, and it doesn't have to be like fully, fully cooked because you'll just cut it and then put it on here or back into the sauce once it's like mixed or whatever. So I had about a cup and a half, maybe two cups of stock. And I make mine with the little bouillon cubes. Um, but before I put the stock in, I put in the garlic that you see. I put that in the bottom of the pan with the leftover oil, and then I let that cook for like two minutes. Um, and I do have it on a medium heat. But I'm just kind of letting this boil to kind of get away. And I put a little bit of uh, cooking wine, which I don't always do that. I just figured it'd be good. And then I use a block of cream cheese to make mine creamy. My finger, I'm always doing this. <laughs> So I put the cream cheese in once it's kind of simmered for like a couple minutes and then I just add Parmesan cheese and then I have some leftover Italian cheese and mozzarella cheese. So I'll add those and maybe some like salt and pepper and stuff like that. So that is what I do for my Alfredo sauce and ever since I started making my own the can like the jar stuff tastes disgusting like I bought it one time since I've done this to make it easier. 
and it's nasty. And I have my water going, so we're gonna get dinner going. All right, so the Alfredo is done. I cut up the chicken and I put it in here so it can simmer in the sauce. And then I put um, a little bit of the juice that goes onto the plate. It's like a little bit of like chicken juice and a little bit of fat that you just pour a little bit in here to kind of give it some more flavor. But I tasted it for seasoning and it tastes good. So I just have this on low. So, sorry. So I'm just gonna let that sit and then I'm cooking the noodles and fettuccine takes a pretty long time. My garlic bread is almost done. So while this is going, I'm gonna try to quickly unload the dishwasher and then load it. And then it's time to eat. Oh, my noodles. <laughs> my, my own noodles. Got me some zucchini noodles. Whew. They're hot. I put them in the um, pot of boiling water before I put the other noodles in so that they would get a little soft. So now I'm going to put all this in the dishwasher. This I just clean by hand. Whew, it's hot in this kitchen. All right, kitchen is clean. I just have to put my salt away. olive oil. I wiped down the counters. These are drying. I loaded the dishwasher. It's not full, so I'm not going to start it. This pan is soaking. I will wash that later. Bowl is soaking. Wipe down the counter. This stuff is going to be put away eventually. This, you know, that's just life, but let me update you on the... <laughs> this is like a 12-hour process. Um, let's see if I can get some light going. So, the toy area is clean. I sweeped and I emptied out the toys and got all like the junk toys out. And there's just like some like the bigger toys that I put in there. Right here, 99% of these are Hannah's. Um, there's like two or three stuffed animals that are Noah's. But these will go in Hannah's room on her bed and in her baby bed. She keeps all of her. <laughs> she's supposed to keep all her like her babies and stuff in the little crib that she has and she puts like her stuffed animals in her bed so these things will go in her room her room is not picked up yet I will do that another day probably tomorrow um, and then these I just need to Noah grabbed all of his stuff but I guess these are things that he did not want so I'm going to go through this. That's the Jenga game. So I put that in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put that away. But um, trash bag full of toys. Oh, here's a couple more things right here. <laughs> that I just need to pick up. But yeah. So that area is finally clean. So I'm going to move this back over. I usually have it like right here. But um, yeah. So it took a while. I mean, this is still here. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's done. It's 7.30. I had a lot more to do today than, like, going back and forth than I had planned. Sorry. So, yeah. It is what it is. I'm going to go charge my camera because it's dying on me. And then edit this so it can go up tomorrow. But, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, if you do some toy organization or toy decluttering, tag me in it on Instagram. That's where I am at most of the time. Um, I don't think you can do anything on YouTube. But if you do, you can leave a comment because I have comments. So, But send me a picture. Someone already sent me a picture um, of their like toy room where they were working on their toy room. I posted on Instagram what I was doing this morning. So the dreaded toy areas. Um, anyway, so I will go. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye guys.